I think we're live. We're live. Believe it. You best believe it. Well, what are we doing today? We're gonna make some coffee here in a second. That's what we're gonna do. We're getting we're getting set up though. Cause uh it takes a second. For reasons I don't totally understand, but that's why I'm not in charge. I'm just long for the ride. Alright. I think we're good. I think we're good. Alright. So first things first, let's get the coffee going. Mainly because I'm like half asleep right now. Yeah, when I buy my coffee, I buy the 700 pack. Bam! Why? Because if I live long enough, I'm going to go through all 700 of them. I promise. One a day. Yes, and for the the weak at heart, eh, it's due for a deep cleaning, but we're going to be fine today. We will be, we'll, we'll make it through. We'll be okay. Make sure I'm getting all this in here. And uh, coffee, coffee making styles will vary. <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> oh God, I should have. Am I even gonna have enough here? Well, we're going with that, kids. Come with that. Perfect day to open a new bag of coffee. I usually do three. What's up, Sam? Making some breakfast. That's today's episode. I'm gonna go with that. Level it out. Got my water. Now the video's good. Yeah, sometimes the internet does internet things. I'm. I'm shocked that it works as well as it does most of the time. To be perfectly honest with you. All right, so coffee is being started. We're gonna slide on over here to this section. Get some stuff adjusted just a little tiny bit. Get the light moved. Get the monitor moved so I don't cook that into a waffle. That doesn't need to be waffleized. Okay. Do you eat biscuits with your coffee in the morning? Uh, I like donuts, but I'm trying not to eat as many, so yeah, no donuts for me. Here we go. Waffle maker. Yeah, the outside's a little gross, I will admit, but sometimes, sometimes it's the way life is. We'll give that a little a little polish. My philosophy is, is this gonna get hot enough that if anything was in there that was gonna get me, it would be taken care of. Okay. So I don't know if you can see that or not. I got light, the light came on. I got a light going. Let's get the mix going here. We're using the buttermilk pancake mix, 10 pounds, good to 2022. We're going to be doing the uh, the waffle directions. Their directions are two cups of the mix, one and a half cups of water, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Well, I, don't, I can't eat that much waffles. So I'm going to do one cup, three quarters cup, one tablespoon vegetable oil. That's that's what I'm about to do here. That's, that's, that's what's about to happen. Put this light on. Well, at least this light on. Does that help? Where are we here? No worries. Eat some food. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I polish. Oh, I go out buy a brand new one. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. That is not gonna happen. We're not gonna do this the way I should do it. There we go. One cup. Perfection. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, our water is here. We're gonna do three quarters cup. 
Perfect. I gotta grab the oil real quick. I kind of forgot about that. <clears throat> what do we got for oil? Oh man, we got the look at the fancy, the fancy oil jug. I don't even know if that's fancy, to be honest with you. One tablespoon. Come on, little fella. A little extra for just because. Because I'm into extra. Water in. The red whisk because my kitchen's red. I feel like I may have put too much water in or something. It's kind of liquidy. Don't need to overmix it. I know that. Okay. Something else I was going to do, and I just realized I didn't even set it up because why would I set anything up? I was going to to make some juice. Some frozen juice. So we're gonna break this bad boy out. Oh man, look at this. What kind of oil is that? I think it's just the, uh, what do I got here? Give me one second. That one is just, uh, I just call it like vegetable oil, I guess. Oh, I think I emptied my container. So for me, this is my olive, this is my olive oil container. That's virgin olive oil, and that one's just vegetable oil sure what kind of vegetables they just call it vegetable oil yeah unfortunately the last time i used it i threw the oil container out Let's see. i broke my plastic liquor a few days back mixing eggs just brought electric oh electric mixers are nice i like those well that's what this thing is so we got that there's a glass i just got this my old one was plastic i'm pretty excited i've actually never used this except for to clean it smells good so we're going to give this a try. I don't know how this is going to work because I don't have an extra plug. What am I going to do here? I think I have to unplug my monitor, but I got to find some juice. What kind of juice we going to make today? Make some orange juice? Yeah! Let's do it. So, this is kind of a, I don't know if this is an American thing or how this exactly works. Hopefully my monitor doesn't broke out. I need to, ask, I got to borrow some power. How's coffee doing? Ooh, coffee's almost done. Maybe we should go to coffee next. I think we should go coffee next. Back to coffee. Back to coffee. Get over here, coffee. Yeah, the iPad charger. Yeah, I unplugged him. All right. Gonna use that. I'm going to grab a spoon. Damn, my iPad, my iPad battery is just totally smoked. Like, I unplugged the thing for like two seconds and it just shuts off. So, it may be, it may be a, a momentary... Oh, I just heard the waffle maker make a sound. I think it's just cycled, so it's ready to cook. Just, I use one spoon of sugar. It helps the medicine go down. Sorry if I'm blocking my camera shot. Leave a little head space there. Bring it back over here. And then, uh, half and half, grade A, homogenized, ultra pasteurized. Oh man. Sniff test, still smells good. Put a little bit of that in there, enough room to stir still. And that's what I like for breakfast. Oh man, I'm excited. Get that sugar up mixed in. I'm making a mess. All my coffee cups, they come from that store that sells all the discount stuff. I pay 50 cents for each one of these coffee mugs. That's really cheap. I mean, it's not quite free, but it's really cheap. So if you're not familiar, this is... Uh, Stranger Things on Netflix. This is the middle school that the kids go to. Is the Hawkins Middle School. 
Audio Video Club mug. It's kind of funny. All right. I think I'm going to put a waffle in. Let's do this. Yeah, we're going for it. I'm going to try to think. Should I oil that thing? Nah, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. So I got a half cup here, which I think is too much. We're just going to get this thing in here. Yeah, I know. Pour something like that. We're going to call that good. I don't know. I'm not super good at making waffles. So let's see if we can get this thing going. Is that gonna pulse? Oh, ooh, kind of got a little weird sound going there. This thing's ancient. Uh, this uh, this blender's ancient. That was my grandmother's. <laughs> so it's probably older than I am. It's the ostracizer. So what we got here is uh. Solid frozen block of orange juice concentrate. No sugar added. Frozen concentrate. Let's see if I can get it out. Ooh, it's forming a log. Out with you, log. Oh, just come out. There we go. So the instructions on this are, well, that light just came on, is that good or bad? I don't know what's happening. I don't know how to use that thing. Three cans of water. Okay. Is it you take it out when the light's on or off? Oh man, this is like trouble. We got trouble in River City. I don't have instructions for that thing. A video of salad? I could try to do that. I can't imagine that's ready. That would just be too much. Let's get the water going on this thing. Try to get both. Can I get both? It's going to be hard. If I burn that, that's going to be an internet tragedy. Mix it with two to start off with. Third in afterwards. I don't know how much room this thing holds. Let's do that. Let's do it with two right now. Lid on, everything sealed. I think it's mixed. I think I need to peek on this thing. Too soon. Too soon. It's separating on me. I think it's going to be stuck. I think I should have oiled it in hindsight. I should use that spray oil thing and I'll have it set up though. Okay, so I aerated that way too much. I'm going to let that settle. There's three, three cups. Three of these, right? Three cans, yep. Oh man, where we're going with that much because that's all I got. Yeah, I overmixed it. I got like a foamy froth going. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna have a I'm not sure what you call it. A challenge of getting the uh Oh man about fell in my face. They're light shot. No, that's how it works. But I think I already Okay, okay. 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 Is it going to come out though? Oh yeah. She's, she's looking loose. I've had these stick before and they're, it's a. I'm, I'm sure there's somebody has got it all figured out. I don't have it figured out. But the, uh. Like the amount you put in, I do know if you put too much in there, you've got problems. And yeah, I've done that before. So I always err way on the side of like, I don't know what you'd call it, caution, sanity. We're going to let that reheat back up. Let's see if we can get some of this OJ, this frothy OJ. I can't believe I 
It makes it so hard. Oh yeah, that's gonna be too much froth. Yeah, it tastes right. I overcooked it on the mix. I don't know what I was thinking. Like I've said in the past, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I've tried it then. How about that? Know thy stuff. That's what you should do. All right, let's see. Check the waffle, yeah. Sorry, I haven't been looking. Oh no, we're gonna make more. This is orange juice. Oranges. I I know that like not all countries do because like uh, some countries do their their juices differently. Like you can buy fresh squeezed, you can buy pre-processed, and all that. Uh, I thought I had some. Give me a second here. I'm looking at my fridge for something. I know I've got syrup. I'm gonna put some butter on it. Got the the butter. I'm gonna twist some butter on that bad boy. So it comes out in a ribbon. Isn't that great? Nice and thin so it'll melt. So the, the, the frozen orange juice concentrate, it's kind of a weird deal. I think, uh, ooh, let me plug my iPad back in before I lose it. There you go, bud. Okay. Yo, what's up, Mo? Uh, put some butter on my waffle. Could to mix that around a little bit. I think I let my waffle cool off a little bit too much. Oh, those are good. I can't, I can't remember where I put my syrup. <laughs> That's funny. If I was syrup, where would I be? I know I have some around here too. Because I just got it the other day. Like literally just like a, a couple, oh, there it is, in the back of the fridge. It's not very fancy. It's actually the least fancy syrup on the history of the planet, but it was available, so I went for it. I usually eat real maple syrup, which is kind of fancy, like that's fancy, expensive stuff, but I bought a giant jug of it like a year ago, and last time I went to use it, it was like moldy, and I was like, dude, moldy. That smells good. Oh, yeah. Get on there. Get on there. Everything still working? Yeah, the butter didn't, uh, butter didn't melt very good. Let's cook another one, what do you think? Oh, yeah. Mmm. Good actually, even though it's falling apart. All right, let's get back to this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, the handle fell in. That's tragic. Let's do a little bit more this time. Oh man, that was wildly out of control. I think I'm a little thin on my liquid. Do I think oh, I think maple syrup is overrated? Why don't people use some other things on their waffle every time? Some people put like strawberries. Like if you go to a fancy restaurant, there's like strawberries and cream and all sorts of stuff. I mean, I think maple syrup is like how would you describe it? It's labor intensive to make, so it's expensive. Therefore, it's better, right? Is that is that a thing? Anytime something's more expensive, it's better. I'm being ironic. But there's something to that. It's like ex expensive. Expensive is exclusive. Exclusive is you can't have it, therefore you want it. The problem I've got, I'm not saying it's a real problem, but like this syrup is not maple syrup. This is just high fructose corn syrup. Yeah. Which isn't the best. I mean, whatever. I eat it. Once again, I paid 50 cents. I mean, how do you pass up on that? 
50 cents for, for syrup when you're actually out of syrup. Like I wasn't shopping for syrup that day. I just saw it in the bin. It's like 50 cents. I'll buy, I'll buy syrup for 50 cents. It works. It tastes like syrup. Is it the best? No. Is it the worst? It's better than no syrup. Please take, no, I'm good. <laughs> this is where I usually, if I wasn't videoing this, this is what I'd be doing too, because I'd be cooking waffles while I'm eating. I'm surprised my dog's not in here. Because I don't like them um, sitting around, like the waffles, they got to be as fresh as you can get them. I mean, actually, I usually would cook it on the other, the other table behind me, the other, the cutting board, the butcher block. But there's better workspace here. That's the only thing that's different than normal. So I'm thinking about doing a series of videos called How To. And uh, just me uh, explaining how I do things, but shorter videos maybe. Like for example, I could have done a How To Make Orange Frozen Concentrate and I could have made that a separate video. And of course I screwed it up, which would have made it hilarious. I'm thinking about doing that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I kind of told myself I would never do how-to videos and title them how-to, but I'm kind of thinking that I might actually do that. What? You've never had a waffle and maple syrup in your life? My God. We gotta we gotta solve that somehow. I'm not sure how to solve it though. Have you ever had a pancake? I'm going to describe it. So, like, this is all crispy. It's sweet, but it's soft on the inside. Compost for my garden? I don't compost very good. My compost is just I throw it in the ground and bury it. You're supposed to layer with organic green and brown, and then you're supposed to water it and flip it, and rotate it and all this stuff. I'm too lazy. I always just go with the philosophy. It came from the earth. It's going back to the earth. Ooh, the light shut off. All right, we're going to get back over here with the camera. This should be done. Okie dokie. see if we can get it out. Oh, man. Look at it go. Out with you, friend. Oh, it's stuck in. It's a little stuck in the middle. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me now. The middle doesn't want to come out. Ooh, it's hot. Why is it being like this? Don't be like that. There we go. Okay, let's get these little, I think I'm getting some residue build up. Anyways, so if you haven't had a waffle, let's get in here and show you what a waffle's all about. Now granted, my waffles are amateur as can be. It's supposed to be with this big thick edge on it all the way around. And you can see how deep those are and the butter goes in and melts. See the texture on that? This, a Belgian waffle is a thicker version. That's what makes it a Belgian waffle. I don't know if the Belgian invented that or how that works exactly, but that's what they call it. So my rainwater harvesting, like on our houses in America, we've got what are called gutters, and those go on the on the edge of the roof, and they collect all they they collect all the water on the roof. It goes down a downspout. And then generally, oops, the water just runs off away from the foundation. I mean, that's, it's kind of funny, like, probably ask the average American why you have gutters on the house, and they, I don't know what they would tell you, but the, the, the true reason for a gutter on the house is to get the water away from your foundation, because water up against the foundation is bad for a foundation. 
So a combination of uh, the grade, the slope of the ground around the house, the, the, the size of the gutter to be able to capture all the water coming off, the downspout, getting the water away from the foundation, all that, it all goes away. So like for a rainwater harvesting, you're like three quarters there because, you know, the hard part is gathering it. Well, you got the gutters already. You already got those. You just need a barrel to put it in. But what's crazy is there are places in America where it's literally illegal. Against the law, you are a criminal. If you gather the rain that falls on your roof, that goes into your gutters, that comes down your downspouts, even if you use that water to put on your own yard, where that rain's going anyway, it's a crime. And the reason it's a crime is they claim the water coming off your roof into your gutters going down your downspouts is already owned by somebody else downriver. And that water's got to go in the river. It can't go into your garden and then into the river. I don't even know how it works. I don't live in one of those states, but I know they exist. And it's a tragedy. Yeah. I believe, don't quote me on this. I believe it's illegal in Colorado to harvest rainwater. I'm pretty sure it is. Because they the, the rivers that go through Colorado, I think one of them is called the Arkansas River. There's states down river from there that have water rights. And if you don't let them have their water, they can sue you or something. Or I don't even know how it works. I mean, I could see if you were harvesting water, putting it in a truck and trucking it off to someplace else. But if you're just going to put it in your yard anyways, that's where it's going right now. I mean, water in, water in, right? I mean, I don't know. It's part of the brave new world we live in. Nothing makes sense. Oh, what do we got here? There's a channel called Post 10, which posts views of beavers and the bars from where I come. Oh, right, yeah. I mean, I don't know. The whole rainwater thing, it just seems like, why not? I mean, it's a kind of a pain in the ass, but... I mean, for me, the water comes to my house. You know, I turn the spigot and the water comes on. But I get a bill for it. They send me a bill. And it's pretty affordable, actually. I mean, I'm not complaining about that. Considering it's it's technically safe to drink. It's clean. It's pure. It's unlimited. I can use as much as I want. I just, they just send me a bill for it. But it's like... There are some chemicals in it for like... Uh, there's chlorine, a little bit of chlorine for like sterilizing. I think they put fluoride in it. Probably some other stuff too. And it's like, it's watering a garden, man. I mean, there's people where I live that have hoses in the ground to sprinklers for their yard and they water their whole yard with automatic sprinklers. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's wild. Imagine this. So in the part of the country I live, you can grow a nice green grass yard. So the ultimate goal is a monoculture yard. One variety of grass that's grown so thick and green that nothing else can grow there. They pay, they pay companies to come out and put fertilizer on their yard to make the grass grow. They pay a company to come in and put underground sprinkler systems that have self-timers that are all automatic. That you don't have to think about. They automatically sprinkle, keep the yard growing. They pay a company to mow the yard. They pay a company to aerate the yard, loosen the soil up underneath. Everybody does it's like it's like the greatest concoction of like self-looping interest. Because you pay to fertilizer, it makes it grow faster. You pay to mow it, the guy mows it more. And he's got side hustle with the overseeding and the yeah, that's great. I don't do any of that. I mow my yard. I don't fertilize it. I don't worry about what grows in it. Unless it has sticker burrs. Sticker burrs got to go. I'm not having none of that. I dig that out. It's just like, I was reading a thing the other day about white clover. 
It used to be back in the good old days. There was a percentage of white clover seeds in every lawn seed mix. And because white clover puts nitrogen in the ground, which makes grass grow. So if you had a mix of white clover in your yard, it would be a natural fertilizer. Plus the white clover grows below the long grass, which basically blocks all the sunlight from the ground so no other weeds can grow up. So the clover is a, a weed suppressant. Your regular grass grows above it. And it was like, you just plant a white clover and mowed, no problems. Well, they want to sell you fertilizer. They want to sell you other things. So they took it out. You can't get white clover seed in your mix anymore. They, they declared it a nuisance. They're like, oh, you don't want that in your garden. It's all like, ooh, how do you live with that? Like, oh my goodness. What's it like being a person that doesn't have perfect grass? Like, ha <laughs> ha. It's funny. I know like in Japan, I think, they're, they get into that too. Like just perfect yards. But like over in Japan, the yards aren't very big. Where I'm talking, I'm talking like huge yards. Like, like cricket field size yards. And these people are keeping them perfect. Striped mowing. I, mean, I don't know what they pay. I have no idea. I'm not going to lie. It looks nice and it's cool, but I mean, like some people got too much money. That's what I think. So yeah, they have these perfect yards with these perfect stripes and the perfect everything. And they don't even do it themselves. They pay somebody. And it's like, I guess. I mean, I'd rather work a little less hard and have a little less nice yard. And what's funny is the yard at my house has always just been El Natural. There's never been anything crazy done to it. And I've actually like ran into people that I didn't know very well. It's just like you talk with them and oh you're in the you live in the neighborhood. Oh, okay, whatever, blah, blah, which house? And you tell them I tell them where I live, and they'd be like, oh my god. Love driving by your house because my yard's on a slope, so you can see the face of the yard. And uh in the spring I have I'm not even sure what it is. It's a weed, obviously, that grows all over my yard. But it has purple flowers in the spring. And normally when that grows in your yard, you can't really see it very well because most yards are flat. You can't, but because my yard's at an angle, it's just a wall of purple. It's only for a few weeks. And I just remember talking with this one lady. She's like, oh, you're, you're the you're a guy with the purple yard. Oh, I just love driving by your house and looking at your purple yard. And I never really thought about it. It's just like, oh, the weeds are purple this, this week or whatever. It's just funny how people perceive the world differently you know for that lady it was the greatest thing her, she looked forward to it every year to see the purple yard for somebody else they could probably be like oh my god that guy's weeds are out again look at those weeds oh it's terrible what are we gonna do with all those weeds i'm kind of more of like let it live and let live you know it's just like i don't mind if you have a perfect yard do it that's cool with me i don't care i mean my dandelions are going to bloom. Sorry, my seeds are going to go to your yard because I don't take, I don't get rid of dandelions. My dandelions grow. I mean, I mow the heads off when I mow. That's it. Sorry. Sorry if you don't like dandelions. I mean, I can eat dandelions. I can make tea out of that if I want to. I can make wine out of dandelions. Not as simple as it used to be. Life used to be simple, now it's complicated. And sometimes not in a good way. Sometimes it's in a, a complicated way, right? Complicated in a complicated way? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, that's good times though. Good times! What's, what else are we going to talk about here? Oh, I, I overfilled that. Ah, I spilled it too. Good work. Oh, light just went off. It's waffle time. Oh, man, I made a coffee mess. Didn't get my coffee stirred all the way. Come on, coffee. Here we go. Ooh, 
That one's going to be hard to get out. One of these days I'm going to figure out how much... Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is going to be... This might be the end of the stream. Oh, there we go. It's coming out. I was going to say, if it doesn't come out, that's the end because that's it turns... I've, I've had it happen once before where it just absolutely just stuck and wouldn't come out at all. Well, how about I film like the back of my hand? Let's see if I can do this from over here. I don't know what, I don't, maybe I should grease this, maybe, or, yeah, I probably should spray it with a little bit of oil. I mean, I think also, if I got the mix just right, it'd come out a little nicer, because it would help release it, because it'd be, yeah, that center is just not happy. What starts happening is you, you leave a little bit from the last one, and then it's, it sticks to it. It's just like a, well, it's like a concrete shovel. You leave a little concrete on the shovel. The next time you put concrete, a little more concrete sticks to the shovel. The next thing you know, your whole shovel's covered in concrete. Oh, yeah, this is not, there we go. Release the hounds! Ooh, that one actually looks pretty good. Let's see, what can I do? Can I get that cleaned out? Ah! Life's short. Just leave it. Just leave it. Where's the butter at? Oh, it looks like I got... There's somebody else watching. Who else? Mo, are you still watching? I can't figure it out. I keep forgetting to look at the screen. See who's, who's doing what. It's no big deal. Surprised my dog. Did I let her in? Is she still is she inside? Or do you want waffle? You want some waffles? She didn't really like them. Honestly. She used to beg for the waffle. And then I would give her the waffle. And then she would be like, hmm. I'm not impressed with your waffle. Is basically how it would work. I think she's learned now. I mean, it used to be whatever I was cooking, that's you gotta have some of that as a dog, no matter what, because you know. That's just how dogs do their thing. But as she's aged and, excuse me, <clears throat> she's determined that she knows what she likes. And if she doesn't like it, it's not worth getting off the couch. That's where she is right now. It's right on the couch. Oh, we're on the side of the thing. That's right. Where'd my fork go? Coffee. So yep. Yeah, I don't ever talk. This is the Toastmaster Belgian waffle maker. That's old. That's an old machine right there. But I mean it kind of does what it does. It's been a while since I used it. Like I haven't made waffles probably a year. I think how long am I going here? Ooh, past a half hour. That's as long as I was gonna go a half hour. I think I'm gonna wrap this one up. That's breakfast with elf shelves right there, kids. If you didn't make the live stream and you watched the re the rebroadcast, welcome to the rebroadcast. If you made it to the live stream, thanks for showing it up. Oh yeah, I got some good news. I actually haven't checked this morning, but last night when I went to bed, my channel had officially earned last night, and it's always two days behind on the processing, $99.48, which doesn't sound like much, but the thing is, YouTube doesn't pay until you make $100, which means... I've officially reached the point where I'm actually made some money with my channel, which I'm pretty excited about. And for me, it has nothing to do with the amount. It's just the fact that I made the goal to make a channel, try to get it monetized and get paid. I just was curious if I could do it. And I think yesterday I officially achieved that milestone, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep going. Just keep plugging along, making stuff. All right.
Let me see if I can get this thing reversed somehow. Can I reverse this thing? I don't think I can. Oh, yeah, I can right here. There we go. Don't look at my cabinets. Jeez. All right. Oh, waffle maker's ready. I think I'm going to shut this off. We went 40 minutes. Good deal. I'll catch you next time. And, uh, yeah, might be doing some how-to videos. Stay tuned for some how-to. Some of them might be funny. I might, I might, I might make some comedy how-to videos. Or I might make some real ones. Or maybe a mix of both. All right. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe. Peace!